Hi, beautiful. How you doing today? You look ravishing. Thank you for being here and joining me on this lovely, therapeutic, satisfying day that we have planned here. Today, we're watching some people brush out their dreadlocks. The dreadlocks they've had for several years. That sounds like the most exciting plan ever. There's something about taking out those matted twists in your hair and releasing that beautiful, flowy, straight or curly hair that just gets me. It hits me in the right spot. But today we're getting some free therapy, which I definitely need more of. Um, yeah. So let's watch some people brush out their dreadlocks and check out the transformations. Let's do it. Woo! Our first video today is by Lauren Wolf. E or wolf with the silent E. I don't know, girl, you tell me. I see you, Lauren. This video is called Removing My Three Year Old Dreadlocks. It took five days. Lauren, what the hell? Four and a half too many days to be doing that. Let's see what happens. Um, I'll try and keep this as quick as possible, but I feel like it is really important. Show me your dreads, um, show me them. If you're thinking of dreads or you have dreads, then maybe you can learn some lessons from this. When I got my hair put in originally, um, it was extremely long. Put a picture here. Whoa! Really heavy, really good quality hair, like, always had long hair. Then my dreads shrunk up to about here. Uh, again, I'll put a photo, you can also see. Oh, that is really pretty. It's crazy how much this shrunk. I was not expecting that much shrinkage. So they just were this short, but really heavy because all that hair got sucked up, you know? Sounds like it'd be very aggressive on your hair. A lot of breakage is all I'm thinking about. That's it. Some dropped out, I just still had a few in. Um, it looks so dope. I approve. So I was left with this really long, thick, full set of dreads that were just incredibly heavy. It used to actually hurt my neck all the time. Ooh. Um, if I wasn't Ooh. sitting down where it could like rest, if I was like watching a band or something, my neck would literally be like hurting and I would have to like sometimes hold my hair up and be like, oh. Oh, hell no. There's no reason for that. No. And then came the problem because they were so thick and dense that I couldn't wash and dry them properly. The outside was drying, but the inside was just still moist. Which oh, was mold. Gross, which, yes, it's disgusting, but <sighs> it's something that needs to be talked about because, yes, your hair can get moldy. So I'm taking them out and then we're going to bleach my hair. That looks like it weighs 85 pounds. I don't blame you for being very uncomfortable with those dreadlocks in your hair. I really like them. Kind of sad to see them go, but I understand why. Then we're gonna put them back in and we'll have to add some extensions because I've lost a lot of length. She's taking them out and then putting them back in. Oh, <laughs> oh, she's really gonna go there. Okay, holy crap, dude. Those things are major. How does her hair fibers even support those things? They look so heavy and we're starting to work on getting them out now. They're taking a metal pick and just going up and working through that hair. Oh man, this is going to be a long process. Actually, it's a five day long process according to her title. She needs like four more friends helping. <laughs> How many episodes of Sabrina have watched? I hope you paid your friend to do this with you. So many days. Oh yeah. I love her hair color, by the way. It's absolutely <laughs> fabulous. It's such a nice shade of blonde and I'm pretty sure it's her natural hair color, which is a rare thing for people to naturally have that hair color. It's so gorgeous. Cue all of the comments saying, Brad only likes blonde people. It's not true. So stop. Oh, look at all like the fuzz and the hair coming out of each of those strands. She's gonna have so much hair after she's done with this, piled up. We've been doing this since uh, like 10 in the morning and we're doing it all last night. And they didn't even change outfits. <laughs> uh, it's just take, like I've been doing this for literally like an hour and a half, two hours. It just takes so bloody long. So yeah, this is the current. Oh. Yo, I'm sorry, but you have so much work to do. I'm so curious to see how much of that hair is her real hair. I'm pretty sure most of it is extensions, but it looks really long. I don't know why she didn't cut off the extension part first and then start unraveling. That would have been a lot easier because I feel like she's just going in and like trying to undo those 20 inch long extensions for no reason when she could just cut them off, but we'll see what happens. Um, so we've got like, Probably like 21 ago, I think we're on like the other two. This is the pile of hair. What? <laughs> it actually 
she looks like a Yorkshire Terrier. <laughs> what the hell is that? A Yorkshire Terrier, it really does look like that. Then I'm gonna have to like do all these deep conditions. Bleach it, tone it, tone the extensions. Okay, so it's not her natural hair color. Dread me hair, attach the extensions. Once upon a time, I thought I was high maintenance. <laughs> Lauren takes the cake. <laughs> oh my God, she's gonna take them all out, put them back in, bleach her hair, all in like one sitting for five days without changing their clothes. <laughs> oh, they changed clothes, thank God. Now, um, but... <laughs> she still has so many threads left. Um, yeah. Can't wait. Losing the will to live. Go, go, go. You guys got this, you guys got this, you guys got this, you guys got this. Come on, come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, he's trying to help. She's teaching him how to do it. Oh, thank God, we got three people on it now. We got three. I had a meltdown and spent the night crying. Oh, this would make anybody go crazy. I don't blame you. It's looking really good though. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, I'm so excited. She's like changed out different people every day. And um, this is like the fourth day of doing it. Three days straight and now here we are. You got this, you got this. Let's make it to the finish line. Watch, you can just run through the finish line like. You know what I mean? Oh, she's so upset. I feel bad, man. This is really taking a toll on her. Making a hair mask. Buy Prismatic Glow next time. If this isn't the most wild process you've ever seen, I don't know what is. Um, basically what's happened is I've bleached it twice and it only changed the color <laughs> once for some reason. And I've toned it three times and it's still bright yellow. So I've got some more <laughs> toner on the ways and just a different Brand. Please, hair gods, help her. I'm gonna run Please. Three brands soon, but I think this one's gonna work. Um, but yeah, so my hair's bright yellow. So this is not the finished product, but I just want you guys to, um, just to see. So let's have a look. And I wear pajamas, by the way. <laughs> so this oh. is what we are left with. Oh. And I actually think it looks better on camera than it is in real life. Or maybe I'm just used to having really thick hair. But as you can see, it is still like long technically. First of all, your color looks good. I like the kind of gingery blonde on you. Second of all, your hair is not kind of long. It is down to your butts. It is very, very long and it looks very, very long. Very good. Wow, that was a transformation. Wow, 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 okay. But the length is like really, really thin at the end. Yeah, you gotta because trim those things. With hair, I'd probably have to get it cut to like there. Yeah. And um, because this is just pointless. So you can see where I used to just like bleach my fringe and just leave the rest. Right. I'm pretty like yellowy strawberry blonde now, but that's just, that's just life. What? <laughs> Oh my God, it was so dark before. No, no, no. What is that? What is that? This has been an experience that I do not wish to repeat. Um, it's just insane. What yeah, so was that, that? And done all sorts to it and raked it out and it wasn't washed in two years. It's actually, um, it's not dry or anything at all. It's actually quite like moisturized. It's just that the ends are very thin. Um, there's no split ends or anything actually. They're just really thin. Um, from all the hair that got raked out. I just looked over to my right and it, her, her next video up says, I'm not getting dreadlocks again. I'm so glad she's not gonna do it again. Even though it looked amazing, I don't want her to ever have to go through that struggle ever again. Dude, that was nuts. But the outcome was so incredible. Her hair looked stunning. I actually really like the gingery kind of blonde with the brighter, blonde on top. I agree that she needs a trim for sure. Overall, I think she looks beautiful and I think it was worth her time. And congratulations, Lauren. You are free from the dreadlocks that uh, weighed you down for a long time. <laughs> and you look amazing. All right, let's move on to our next dreadlock removal process video. Now we have Anna's world and this video is called combing out two years of locks. Two years, dude. <sighs> it's me a big change. It's gonna be a big change for her. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hi. I'm taking my locks out. Uh, and I've been uh, contemplating this for a minute. Show them to me. I could not decide, I couldn't decide. I was like, <sighs> like I was- Me like, with every decision in my life. Should I do it, should I not do it, should I do it, should I not do it, should I blah, 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 blah. 
I don't know. It doesn't feel like two years. Literally, my whole entire family would, like, be disgusted because I have locks. And I'm just like, what? Like, like, I've been told, like, I would be so much prettier if I didn't have them. Or, like... That's not nice. I don't understand what the obsession was. It's so aggressive. They were literally so aggressive toward me. Well, that's not very nice of your family. Uh, I think you will look beautiful with or without locks. But I still want to see them. I still haven't even seen your hair down, so get to it. But I'm using this conditioner. And I think this will do good because I already took one out and I maintain my length once I take it out. I'm about to drench my hair in water and then I'm gonna show y'all how I take it out. Ooh, they're so pretty. I'm excited though to see how curly your hair is, what it looks like when they all are taken out and all of that good stuff. I'm, I'm very curious what her hair texture is gonna be like. Is it gonna be super curly? Is it gonna be loose curls? We don't know yet. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be a bit of an Afro moment. Maybe not, maybe a little bit more tame than that, but I love curly hair, so you guys know I'm excited about it. Make sure it's wet. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I would say. Grab your conditioner. Okay. I don't like this, like, that's dumb. Like, why can't it just be squaring out? That's just doing too much. So you wet the, um, dread that you're about to take out, and you get your conditioner, and you just apply it on there, and just like, you know, rub it on one night. Am I really about to do this? Yes. I don't think I can do this, guys. You can do it, we believe in you. I forfeit. From the bottom. Oh. And you just start working your way. She's just gonna use the end of a comb to do this. This is about to take four years, dude. She needs one of those combies that with, the, with a lot of picks on it. I wanna see the pile of hair she accumulates after this too. That's always the best part. Oh, look at that hair. Yo, she's got some 4C hair. It is beautiful. Oh, and it's pretty long. I like this look she's going on, though, like the half dread, half <laughs> knot. I am almost done, and it literally takes an hour to take out two. No! No! Like, oh my freaking gosh. An hour for two? It goes to the beauty supply store. But I doubt that we'll be going because... She's gonna try to help me and then we're gonna lose track of time again. And then we're not gonna be able to go and I'm gonna miss another day. Oh my God. I this. this. And I don't really think I'm gonna do it. I said that this would be therapeutic and satisfying, which in a way it is. However, in another way, it's very anxiety inducing because I just want these girls to get it over with, to take their dreads out, to be done with it. And it takes so many days. You gotta just get like five people to help you with this or else it just takes too long. It's too long, man. Oh, she's so close to the end. She's so close to the end. Hey. Then take a break. Like a two second break and then start on this side and get this done, like get this off with. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes! <laughs> I want to see it washed and styled badly. So very badly. Ah! Her curls are delicious. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so I just came from school. I just got home from school. But I like just, just, but like I just got home. I love and this. Yes. Look, she has going on, and she's feeling herself. Thank you. Wow, it really does look nice. She can't even fake, like, my hair looks really nice. It does. It was a good day, it was fun. I didn't show y'all. Show us the hair. Show us the hair. This bag, this is how much hair I lost. And it, it kind of smells weird, but. Get the out of here. Get out of here, man. But still, this is how much hair I. Half of it. How is that possible? Is that the nail? The nail. Ew! <laughs> that is another 
person's head of hair. It just goes to show you how much hair naturally comes out of your hair in a matter of two years. Look at that pile. That is so crazy to me. It's just crazy how fast your hair regenerates and there's always pieces coming out. There's always pieces growing in and you never really see it. That's the weird part of it all. And wow, that is a ton of hair. That was a great transformation. Anna, you look incredible. I love your hair both ways, but um, I think you're really feeling yourself with this uh, this new look. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna put that out there. Uh, and thanks for sharing this with us. Let's move on to the last dreadlock transformation. The next video is by Ashley. Bustel. What is up, Ashley? And whoa, it says a whopping 6.3 million views. That's a lot of views. Let's see what's going on over here. Hey, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel today. My name isn't YouTube. Nobody's name here is YouTube. I don't know who you're talking to. We will be taking out my little dreadies. They aren't little. <laughs> For quite a while now, and I think it's the time to take them out. One, okay. They stink. I don't want to wash them, too. My scalp has, like, bumps on it, and it's just ready. My scalp is like, please, like, let us be free. <laughs> We're ready to have these out of your head, please. I'm not going to lie. They look a little bit messy. Just putting that out there, all right? I'm gonna give you guys like one last look at what they kind of look like and stuff. Whoa. <laughs> and people think that they're real like a lot. Until I tell people that they're not real, people think that they're real. They're definitely not real dreadlocks. They're faux Here's what they look like. locks. Which means they're just extensions really like put in the hair and wrapped around her real hair. Anyways, let's just get straight to getting into this. I think I'm like so attached to them. I just like don't want to take them out. That seems to be the theme of today's video. All of these girls are like super attached to their dreadlocks for some reason and are very not really wanting to take them out and they're like grasping on them <laughs> for dear life. I don't know, I feel like it's maybe a security blanket. I don't know, because I've had so many different hairstyles and hair colors in my life that I don't really feel like it's ever that sad for me to change my hair. But that's just me. A lot of people have an attachment to their hair and I totally understand and appreciate it. I have two rubber bands on there, so I'm gonna snap the other one. Oh my God, be super careful if you're like- Oh, so she just like wraps it around her hair, puts a few rubber bands in, and that's it, I guess. This, taking out the dreads, I want to avoid like being unhealthy to my hair or whatever. Just trying to keep it healthy as possible, even though doing this hairstyle in general wasn't healthy for my hair, most likely. Probably not. Well, okay, it's definitely not healthy for the root follicles of your hair because there is so much tension being put onto your hair. Otherwise, I feel like you are in a protective style, so you're not washing your hair, you're not using any heat tools, it's being very protected from the outside elements. So in that instance, your hair is probably gonna be healthier lengthwise, except the roots might have a bit of breakage and a bit of damage going on. Maybe not too much if your hair can handle the weight of the extensions. So it might be actually good for your hair. Oh wow. Head and, like it's like leaving my like it's like goodbye. Okay, so that's actually a little bit different than I expected. I mean, those are literally just like braided into her hair completely. There's nothing wrapped around anything. I guess her hair was kind of wrapped around, but that was way easier than I thought it was gonna be, and now I want dreads. That's the one style I haven't done is dreadlocks, and I've always wanted them, but I don't know. Probably not. Her hair looks very shiny and very healthy. She is going at it. She's pumping away. She's getting those dreads out and we're working through. Come on, girl, you got this. I feel like this is gonna take like 30 minutes. <laughs> you are worried about it taking 30 minutes? Try taking five days to do it. Like the other two girls we watched, 30 minutes. That'd be like a joke. We took them all out. As you guys can see, we got these like funny looking curls. Her hair looks gorgeous. I guess this is what happens when you have uh, synthetic dreadlocks in. Now we're gonna brush through these curls. Yes. How much hair loss we have, which will be a lot because you lose like 100 strands a day or something like that. Yes. Maybe about a week. I'm gonna lose about 700 strands of hair right here. So I cannot be alone. She's only had these in for a week? Because it is gonna be awesome. Yo! <laughs> 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 like, this. This is just like. That looks incredible. I love it. I love it. Don't get me wrong. Me too. I love it. 
is really adorable. Her hair is so long. So the end result of all the hair loss I got during this week of wearing dreadlocks is this much. That's not a lot at all. It's really not like a lot. It's really not like too, too much. Um, is this a lot of hair? Yeah. But I was expecting a lot more. And you know, there still is probably some more hair that's like just sitting there ready to come out. But hey, I ain't mad at it. It just feels good to be able to like itch it and touch it. I don't even know. Maybe because I'm, I'm like the type of person that massages my scalp like very often that it feels like really rewarding to touch it. I don't know. I'm going to get a shower, get my natural, regular, regular hair back. All right, guys. I'm uh, again, I'm going to get up and go, whoa. <laughs> I'm so annoying. Whoa. I was dreading taking out the dreads and stuff. I did miss having like my hair. Wow. She has beautiful hair. For it to be like light again and I have thin hair, but hey. You don't have thin hair. I'm going to be honest with you. You have fine hair, but it is not thin. And it is luxurious and looks like Silk. It was a good experience. I'll do it again. And I want to tell you guys something really kind of strange that I noticed. Um, tell us. My hair feels healthier. That's and not strange. I think that at all. I was expecting it to be like unhealthy, brittle. For some reason, I didn't use any products. I just washed it. And like it probably doesn't look healthy, but it feels really healthy and it's kind of strange to me. It was in a protective style. You weren't using any heat. You weren't washing it. it it's, it's That's great for your hair. And also your hair does not look bad. It looks amazing. I'm sure everybody watching right now was like, wow, your hair looks beautiful. Ashley, you wild. If you guys think that like hairstyle somehow did something good for my hair, let me know. Yeah, it did. Um, the ends even weirdly feel healthier. Incredible transformation. I wasn't expecting your hair to be that straight and that beautiful and that luxurious and silky and long whoa that one was a really quick one i was not expecting those to be all just completely extensions and it looks great round of applause for you ashley congratulations on your new look i think it's great i think it's great both ways one week with dreads one week without back and forth you know why not change your style a bit those were major transformations. I had so much fun watching those with you guys. Any great transformation like that is so exciting to me. Even going from regular straight hair to dreadlocks is exciting. Going from dreadlocks to straight hair is a little bit more exciting though. Oh, okay, that inspired me to do um, dreadlocks. Maybe one day. And today my dry shampoo Club Kid was released. You can check out Club Kid Dry Shampoo by X Mondo. It is linked down below. So excited about that. And thank you guys so much for your incredible support on the product already. So grateful to have you in my life. So grateful for all you do for me. I really appreciate you being here. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok at BradMondoNYC and follow my hair care brand, X Mondo Hair, for amazing, fabulous hair products that will make your hair feel better than it ever has before. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.